Well, an arrest made in the shooting of a 72-year-old man in Broomfield. 22-year-old Joseph Maesta Sanchez is accused of shooting Michael Lewis early Wednesday morning, and tonight he's being held without bond. And today, Denver 7 CB Cotton sat down with Lewis's children who say their dad was trying to protect the neighborhood. This is my oldest daughter and I and my dad. These photos tell the story of a father who loved his kids and the people around him. This was our, my senior year. He got voted most supportive male parent that year. Alyssa and Sean say their father, Michael Lewis, carried that kind of love to their children, his grandkids. He wanted to know what they were doing, where they were, if he could go. <laughs> to whatever they were doing. But there's one chapter in Michael Lewis's story that no one saw coming. I don't, I don't think anybody thinks this could ever happen to someone you know. Michael was shot and killed Wednesday morning after police say he confronted a man who was breaking into cars. He was trying to, to do the right thing, to, to look out, for, look out for, their, for your neighbors. And he, he paid the ultimate price for that. I think he would do it again, even if he knew the outcome. Protecting others, second nature for the Army veteran, occasional coach. My brother and I both did track, and he, he wiggled his way into helping coach track in high school. Member of the 10th Mountain Division Reenactment Group. He did this a lot. This was his other passion when he wasn't with our kids or with us. And high school softball fan. Today they had a game, and they put a chair out there for him in right field because that's where he sat. Michael lived 72 extraordinary years. He was kind. He was loving. He was the one that we always knew we could look up to for guidance and for just support. His kids just wish he could have been here for a few more. I love you. And I wish you were here. CB Cotton, Denver 7. What a loss. And friends have launched a GoFundMe account to support that family. And we put a link to that on the denverchannel.com.